Welcome in to another episode of Catch the Spirit. I'm Craig Hoffman. Chris Gores. And we got the Rooks today. UCLA Bruins in the house. Ashley Sanchez, Kaya McCullough. Hello. Welcome. Hey. Hello. Y'all, y'all are a little nervous. Just relax. Yeah. You're sitting here fidgeting with all the props. All of a sudden, like, this, this <laughs> is going to happen every time, isn't it? <laughs> it's we're we're going to have all these red lights go on. We got all these, it's all good. This, we're telling them before we started recording. This used to be nice and simple. It was just a podcast. There was only audio. And now we got all this fancy video equipment, which is awesome. And people can watch it. And That's we right. would love for you to do that on YouTube and all. But now it's like, it feels like a giant production. Yeah. Like, I got to have makeup on the set. I can't eat. <laughs> let's keep doing let's relax this. a little bit. We have not I got to start getting haircuts. <laughs> Jeez. It's a this lot. Is, this is official now. Yeah. yeah. I do, I, luckily, I'm getting a haircut this weekend because <laughs> I need one terribly, but that's a different story. Um, so you guys got here pretty recently. How do you like DC so far? And uh, have you, like, luckily, it was pretty mild the first couple of days you're here. Dealing with that, are you prepared for the cold? Because we're not quite out of the, the woods yet. Still pretty cold. Yeah. Still pretty cold, it's huh? Very different They're than SoCal. They're saying it's like a warm winter, and I was like, <laughs> mm. yeah, because you guys were... might get some snow tomorrow. You what? Really? You ready for that? Is that a lie? No, it's not a lie. Oh my! Just don't. But don't like. And when snow comes tomorrow, that means Friday is going to be like really nice. It's when was the like last 60s. time each of you? Because you're both <laughs> West Coast, like even before UCLA, right? Both West Coast. <laughs> when was the last time you saw snow? I've only seen it once. How that old was were you? Last year, for the okay. first time. Where were you? In Colorado. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. I think probably same. Oh, no, I went to Snow Globe. Just kidding. Okay. That's like a music festival in the snow, and it was the worst thing of my life. But anyway. <laughs> Did you at least worst get to see thing. someone good? Yeah, there, it was like all EDM artists, but it was in zero degree weather, so Yikes. trade-offs, not really. Yikes. Not worth it. <laughs> not worth it. Um, how did you react to seeing snow for the first time? Were you like excited? Because a lot of people are like, oh my God, it's snow. And other people are like, this is cold and wet and terrible. Yeah. No, I was excited. I was like, took my phone out and was <laughs> recording and stuff. But it was like, what? After it was like a minute, I was like, okay, I don't really care yeah. anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You once you realize that it's just cold, wet, frozen. Snow is great when you get to go to the mountains and like do something fun. Yeah. But when you have to like shovel it out of your driveway, you that's four not children fun unless an army to yeah. have snowball fights yeah. with. Oh no, no, I don't want to build a snowman. No. <laughs> no. Marcelo is probably really annoying with that, isn't he? All the time. Yeah. Oh, it's snowing. <laughs> it's like it's not even an inch. It's a dusting. He's like, I want to go build a snowman. Like, there's you can't, you can't. There's not enough snow. Sorry, buddy. Um. So. When did you guys first meet? Because obviously UCLA teammates, um, different years. But when did you guys first actually meet? Was it at UCLA or before? I don't, I don't know. know. I think it was like officially at UCLA. Yeah. Like we probably knew of each other, but like never. I, I think the SoCal like soccer scene is very, people know who everybody is, but I don't think that we, because we were in different age groups, so I don't really. Yeah, I didn't talk to her like yeah. for a, a while, even when I got there. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was the moment where you guys came together? Well, first of all, I, like, missed the whole preseason when they, like, bond and stuff. So then when I got there, like, everyone knew each other, and I was like... <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that's tough. I feel like the stranger. And then, like, she was, like, older, so I was just, like, nervous, I guess. I don't know. Did you, you feel... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's so intimidating over here. No warm smiles or nothing. Yeah. Just total joy. <laughs> um, did you feel a responsibility to, like, as an older player to kind of kind of try to bring her in? I think we always do as older players, especially... On our team, we had a lot of, um, like in my class, we had a lot of people who were starting as freshmen. And so I think when we had the new freshman class come in, we kind of, and we lost seniors like Darian Jenkins and Annie Alvarado and them. So I think we did kind of feel like a responsibility for them. But I mean, they held their own because we, we, that year we had, that was the year we went to the national championship and we had a really young roster that was starting. So. I think they held their own. It wasn't really, we were kind of hands off, I think. <laughs> what, did you feel like you had to prove yourself? I mean, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't just what like a dumb in, question. But like, <laughs> this podcast sucks. It was, like, yeah, it, was, <laughs> 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 it was like easy. Like it was a pretty easy transition. I was only 30 minutes away from home. So I was like still seeing my family. And then I was just like still playing soccer. So it was just like pretty normal. Yeah, and our team was really close, too. So, I mean, it always felt like we were with family, I thought, because I was kind of far away from my home, like an hour. Like an hour. Yeah, <laughs> so far. Super so far. far. So I can't wait far. to ask you guys oh what you thought God. when you got drafted by Washington. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, but, yeah, it was, it was fun. It was a fun four years for me. 
when did you realize that she was pretty freaking good? Oh my gosh. I remember, so being a center back, right? So I just like sit back and I have players like Jesse Fleming in front of me, like Ashley. I mean, the quality on our team was just, I literally would just sit there some games and I'd be like, oh, you guys do your thing. Like I'm back <laughs> here. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> um, but <laughs> there, there was like times in games where Ash would do like a certain move, like maybe like a flick over the head or just like dribbling past somebody. And I was like, Oh, Ash, like, don't, my dad would be like, don't, don't do, do it, it to him. him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's the only person I could hear during games. <laughs> and he'll be like, he'll be like, that's a yellow card, Ash. You did it to them. Like, <laughs> oh my God. Well, like, maybe we'll get some of that this year. Yeah, Here's when's dad watch, coming to watch a game? The spirit games. I hope soon. Okay. I hope I get to see my family, but, mm -hmm. um. Yeah, he's funny, but I just I literally would sit there and laugh on the field when Ashley would just dribble through people because it was almost comical how easy it looked. <laughs> so that's fun. Um, you guys guys have both mentioned family already, so let's go. Let's go. Oh. Not that like it's that long ago, but like what's little <laughs> Ashley? What's little Kaya? Like, tell me about your growing up in sports, and and then obviously as you transition into being a high level soccer player and probably focusing on soccer exclusively. So when did you, you start playing and, and what other things um, were you doing? I started playing ASO, I think, when I was, like, four. Like, the first age group, I think I started playing, and then... So, like, five years ago. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> <laughs> get used to it. The jokes don't get any, <laughs> yeah. get any better. And then um, I just, like, kept playing, but I didn't have anyone, like, any club teams that were, like, good, really, around me, which is weird because I feel like SoCal has so many good teams, but they're always, like, Orange County or, like... Where's the other? Like Ventura. Yeah. And like I'm like in this awkward like middle where like I can't really go anywhere. So then I first started playing competitively at Legends, which was still like 30 minutes. And my parents like my I, my older siblings, they played like sports, but not like competitively. So like 30 minutes was like a lot for them. <laughs> and then like I was like, oh, I think I need to go to an even better team kind of thing, you know. And then that was like an hour and a half drive three times a week. And I didn't wow. have my license, wow. so <laughs> I was just sitting there while they drove. But um, what was your question again? I mean, and what was it like? Yeah, as, as a kid. So you had other siblings, but they weren't as into it as you were? Yeah, yeah. So my brother played football and my sister played soccer, but, like, she was kind of over it, like, by, like, <laughs> 16. So you're the best athlete in the family is what you're saying? <laughs> sure. <laughs> you are a professional. Yeah. You're, I think you're allowed to safely say that if none of the rest we of We are going are to tweet this and put this all over Instagram. So we are going to all of your them. siblings are going to see this. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and put it out there. Let them know. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Kai? Yeah, so my parents actually were student athletes at UCLA. So that's where they met. And my dad played football. My mom was a gymnast. So I'd say my whole family was like pretty athletic and... I wouldn't say I was expected to play sports, but it just kind of happened that way. And I started, I think, at like five or four in ASO. And then I didn't play club for a while because my parents didn't want to like throw me into that environment mm -hmm. and burn me out too fast, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, and then I played for local clubs like West Coast and Strikers for most of my career. And then I played with surf my last year. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty cool. My family's all like super excited for me, even though I have surpassed them in terms of their <laughs> Ooh. their playing Ooh. level. You can feel make sure we add that, that on yeah, that. Yeah, one. add them free. on that. Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys play other sports growing up too, or was it just soccer from the time you were five years old? I didn't. I mean, I played like every sport like for fun, but like mm -hmm. nothing was like that fun for me. Like I was good at it, but like. You just stand in, like, every other sport, I feel like. Like, <laughs> softball, I was, like... Softball, you definitely stand around a lot. Uh, I yeah. couldn't really do that. Volleyball was, like, okay, but I'm, like, small. So, like, what mm -hmm. am I going to do? And that was, like, it. Just dive all over the floor. Yeah. yeah. Pick up a lot of bruises. Yeah. Wear a different mm -hmm. colored jersey than everyone else. Yeah. Libero life. Yeah. yeah. I did gymnastics at first. Uh, my mom realized I was really bad at it. So <laughs> She made me stop. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Just just stop, honey. Yeah. No yeah. more just no stop. more falling on she your head. She's like, you know I what? realized you couldn't point your toes, and then that was it. And I was like, <laughs> okay. Um, Facts. And then I did really competitive track in high school. Okay. Um, so like, CIF, what were your events? All that stuff. Oh my gosh. Uh, I did 100, 200, 400, four by one, four by four, long jump. Like I did. What was your favorite event? 
I like driving the four by one and the four. I like the relays. The relays. Even though the 400 is like the worst possible thing you could ever do. Yeah, it's the worst. It's like. Except but it's for always, the 800. But you know what's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. But you know what's fun about the four by four is it's always the last event yeah. of the meet, right? So it's always like this fun thing where all yeah. the teams are rooting on. Like you get the whoop calls yeah. when you're passing somebody. So four by four is always fun because it's the last event. Yeah, but it's also just like sitting there for the whole meet. And you're like, oh, I have a race. True. But yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I love track, but I don't like running very much, I've, <laughs> I've discovered. So it's that's counterintuitive, but, like, it was fun to run with my friends, but I just – running for sport is just not – Yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that. I don't like <laughs> running if there's not, like – I'm not running towards something or away from something, yeah. right? Like if I'm Give running, a preference on towards or away. I'd rather run away. <laughs> okay. That's why I played offense, right? Like I'm not going to run into contact so if I can run th- away from contact. It depends on your frame of, frame of reference. You could no. say you're running towards the end zone. <laughs> No, I'm running away. You're running away. I'm from running people. away from okay. bad guys. Okay, they're <laughs> trying to tackle you. That's it. Yeah. Okay. I'd, I'd rather run away. Uh, what do you? If you don't like the running, what is it that made you fall in love with soccer? You answer that one first. Um, I don't. I don't really have like a definite answer for you. I just think it's really fun and it's really mentally challenging. I think just like a lot of times I look at it like a big puzzle. So mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. figuring out how to break down offenses and. Um, for me, it was just something really cool. Like, to be able – I always think about this when I'm playing, and it kind of freaks me out. Like, I'm able to use my feet to do stuff, and, like, that's really weird. Like, <laughs> when you look at, like, the rest of the population, like, how many people right. can use their feet like Not that? Not me. Yeah. Not Craig. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Not me either. <laughs> better than me. I don't know. I, and I think it's, like, a really good outlet for – I'm really competitive, so I think it was just a sport that was – like, it wasn't a stand-around sport – I didn't have to wait. It was right. always moving. Right. Um, yeah. I don't know. A bunch of things. How about you, Ash? I don't know. I just think it's fun. <laughs> 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 um, but I've built, like, a lot of relationships, like, with, like, all the teams I played for. So I think that's, like, my favorite part. Yeah. So you guys are coming from UCLA. Obviously a, a, a very well-respected program, one of the best in the country. And now you're pros. What do you think is the biggest difference? Like, what what is it that you're getting yourself ready for? What have you heard from other players that, okay, rookie year, you got to be ready for what? I'd say a big one is probably speed of play. Um, I feel like every level that you jump up to, it's just going to keep getting faster and faster as the pool of players gets smaller and smaller. And um, after having, like, one practice already, it's definitely a lot more physical, I think. Yeah. E- even from you got to build some muscle yeah. myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a guy named Michael. Uh, <laughs> you haven't met yeah. him yet. He can help you with that. Yep. Yeah, lots of protein shakes. <laughs> Pro- protein right shakes. Now. <laughs> but what about you? Thing, thing that you think is going to be the biggest difference? Um, well, going from like UCLA coaching staff to like Richie's style, I think is going to be like a lot different. But um, other than that, it's just faster. Like Kaya said, it's pretty, I don't know. I think everywhere you go, it's like just going to keep getting better. So Right. The speed of play is faster. The The physicality is definitely yeah. a thing. Fitness level for sure, yeah. right? Because yeah. yeah. there's no longer subs in at half, right? So yeah. you can you, you have to be able to go a full 90 or more, right? So <laughs> Yeah. And the thing that, that Jordy was saying when we were talking about this on, on the last podcast was you go from a four-month season to, like, a uh, nine-month season. Yeah. yeah. She was like, every rookie is going to hit a wall. Like, just try to just get through it type of thing. Right. But I didn't realize it was that long. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to go back to school now? She was like, she was like yeah, it's like nine months. I was like, mm-hmm. nine. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We'll be done in November. Yeah. It'll be fine. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, be good. What about off the field? What's the thing that you're gonna miss the most from from SoCal? Is it is it the wheatgrass shots? What is outside it? of the weather? Oh, yeah. don't stare. I'm just kidding. You can stereotype <laughs> LA all you want. Um, yeah, the weather is a big one. It's you can. I don't have clothes to wear here. Like, <laughs> I just have shorts and tank That's, tops. Um, we'll get you some jackets yeah. or some scarves. Someone get Kaya a yeah. jacket. By like <laughs> somebody the end some of gloves. The day today. <laughs> yeah, I had to buy gloves. That was weird. And like a winter coat. I literally was like, "What's a winter coat? What does it even <laughs> look like? <laughs> like a light wrap? Yeah, no. yeah. something um, that will keep you warm. Yeah, weather. And I think just being close to like my family and friends. It's kind of hard leaving everybody." Yeah. 
behind, but they're all super excited for us. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. How about you, Ash? What's the what's the thing that you leave behind that you wish? Like, is it In and Out or what is uh, it? <laughs> Give me something fun. No, not In and Out. No, I no mean, In and Out for you. Like the beaches are just a lot better. Yeah. No offense. Uh, yeah. No, is I'm it taken. even a bi- Is it a beach? There's no, no, not here in Boyd. Is it a lake? Yeah. No. There's, there's some lakes around. There's no. some beaches that are a couple hours away. Um, and it's the yeah. East Coast. So there's like, what I miss the most about the West Coast is the sunset on the beach. There's yeah. only like oh. one place here, and that's in Florida, where you can watch the sunset on the beach. Otherwise, if right. you want to watch the sunrise, you got to get your, you got to get up butt early at like 5 a.m. Yeah. To watch Ooh. the sunrise off the beach here. So. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Yeah. That there's no sunset <laughs> on the beach out here. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry to poo that for you. (laughs) Catch the Spirit is brought to you by WAX, women and girls in soccer. Maybe you knew them from before as a regional soccer league for girls in the metro Washington, D.C. area. But that all changed over two years ago. Today, they're a charitable organization with the mission of empowering women and girls from all over the world through soccer. WAG's mission provides opportunities to sponsor and develop educational and character-building programs for the benefit of women and girls through teaching and promoting an interest in the game of soccer. With the money they receive from their former life as a league and funded each year through their annual WAG's Real Vodica Memorial Tournament, WAG supports six unique programs for women and girls that create confidence, strength, character, and leadership in a variety of ways. Some of the most memorable moments over the last two years for WAGs include sponsoring and hosting the first ever all-female referee courses, certifying over 75 new female referees. And last but not least, they hosted and sponsored the first ever all-female coach education international trip to France during the Women's World Cup this past summer. WAGs was a founding sponsor of the Washington Spirit in 2013, and they continue that support today with their renewed commitment to the Players and Spirit organization. So I really want to see you at Audi Field for our season opener on April 18th against Rain FC. So I was like, man, we got to do something for all the pod listeners. So I went to our ticket office and was like, hey, can we do something for the pod listeners? And they were like, yeah, let's do something for the pod listeners. So right now, if you call our ticket office at 301-591-0927 and say, hey, I'm a friend of the pod and I want to be at Audi for the opener, you get $10 off your ticket to the opener. Boom! Getting things done. That's all you have to do. Literally, it's phone only, not online. You're not going to hear this anywhere else. We don't really do ticket discounts. We're doing this just for you. You call. Here again is the number. 301-591-0927. 301-591-0927. Say, I'm a friend of the pod, and I want to be at Audi for the opener. $10 $10 off your single game tickets. Now, of course, we want you to come all season long, and we have season ticket plans that include four matches based on venues starting at just 65 bucks. You can get those at WashingtonSpirit.com slash tickets. My boy Mason also just completely redesigned that website, so any question you have involving ticketing, just go to WashingtonSpirit.com slash tickets and check it out. You'll find the answers there. But if you want that $10 off to the opener, there's only one thing to do. Call 301 301- 5910927 and say that you're a friend of the pod and we'll see you at Audi on April 18th. Um here let's let's spin it positive. Uh, <laughs> as we go to the fan question, Sarah underscore UVAXA asks, what are you excited for in the DMV area? So what are you excited for here? Well, I'm hoping Kaya will give me a little tour because she knows a lot more about <laughs> I'm like a, I'm an American history junkie. Yeah. Ooh, slash okay. Lots of American history. Right here. Yeah. And so I was I'm, a political science major. So. so I'm hoping she'll give hey, me some. You're, you're going to thrive here. Lessons. Oh, yeah. I can't even tell you the number of people that are like, this is your city. And I was like, you're, mm-hmm. you might be on to something. Like, so I'm excited for that. Yeah. We're definitely going to have to go hit up all the sports. Sports. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say monuments. I'm with you. I'm with you on that. <laughs> <laughs> like all my bucket list items to do in life are all like sports related. Yeah. Yeah. Right. There's like some good ones here. Yeah. You got I defending world series like champions you can go visit. Yeah. An NFL game. So I'm like, you, oh, that's we right. Can yeah. Make that happen. yeah. Yeah. We can make that happen. Ooh. NFL sure. game, a caps game you got to go yeah, to. Caps are really fun. Nats are fun on a Friday night in the summertime. I didn't realize there were so many like sports teams out yeah. here. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's a lot. We got, we got everything, <laughs> which is nice. Uh, this one from, uh, I don't know. Have you have you heard of her? Oh, that uh, girl. Aubrey Bledsoe. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> some 
some lady that hit us up. Uh -huh. uh, which new spirit teammate has been most intimidating? Tori. Tori. <laughs> just without a question. <laughs> no hesitation. That's not even, I love it. Okay, but we wow. met her at the draft. She's super nice. She's so she nice. is. She's the best. She's intense. Like she when is. I yes. see her, I'm like hundred percent. We were weight lift or we were doing our lift yesterday. Oh. And she was lifting. She was doing her bench presses with like 50s. these giant, and we're like, oh, oh my like, gosh. Yeah. And deadlifting. We're like, oh. Um, oh. Wait till you meet Paige and Sam. Oh, yeah. yeah. If you want to be intimidated in the gym, those are your, those are your girls. <laughs> but Tori is an intimidating person, though. Her personality yeah. Intense is a great word. Yeah. yeah. She's not, like, mean, but she's just... No. And then when she's you not, talk to her, yeah. she's super nice. Of it's course, just like, yeah. You don't really want to approach her. Right. She's <laughs> not, the, she's not, yeah. To. She's not the person that's going to walk into a room and be, like, all bright and smiley. Yeah. You know what I mean? So... Yeah. But she's yeah. also... Someone who will text the word cool spelled K E W L. <laughs> right. So sorry, right. Tori, for outing you on that one. Uh, Ella Barrow, is that someone you guys know? Okay, well, this is, this one could cause a divide in the room. Uh, what is Ashley's worst habit? Ooh. I don't have any. Come on. I don't know. Ooh. Oh, wow. Is Kaya going to agree with that? She doesn't have any I don't, bad habits. Like, I, don't, I can't think of one. No biting of the nails or anything. I guess, okay, I'll say this. Like, we were talking about this the other day. So this Here is we go. Oh, oh, there we go. No, there no, 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 no. Like, and I can say this too, because I'm like a very like emotional person. Like, I cry during movies and stuff. Maybe yeah. you just like oh, yeah, cry, cry when you're like, when like people, I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. You're just like, you're a crier, which is yeah. like totally fine. I yeah, cry, like that's not a bad habit. Yeah, you, if that's, that's, that's your worst habit, habit you're a worst freaking habit. saint. Yeah, that's not bad. It's just like. But like how like how bad like do you cry at like commercials well, like a Nike commercial? Like, you cry? It's like more of like touching stuff. I don't yeah. cry about dumb things. Like I right. just. I'll say it's a bad habit because it, then it makes me cry because like yeah. you, <laughs> you start the like train yeah. of crying. Right. Yeah. Here's here's the line. Okay, I'll give you an example though. Okay. Okay. Uh, give me an example. Yeah. I was on a visit at UCLA and I like know nobody. And I'm sitting in the locker room and they're having like their senior night and they're like talking about like girls that I don't even know. And I was like crying. Oh, I was, wow. Like, that's, I don't think that's bad. So <laughs> it's just like weird. And I don't mean to do it. I just like, I'm just like. Sorry. Right. Sorry. Right. It's a podcast. We can <laughs> we believe it. Okay. It's all good. Um, <laughs> I want that squeal to be cut though. Yeah. For, no. Ashley that's scores her first be... goal. Everybody, let's get this excited. Yeah, <laughs> whatever that's that gonna, was. We got to add that to the button. That will be like the button that we yeah, use to, no, so we to have, block out the cuss words. We have all kinds of sound effects from our other podcast on this board. I mean, we even have like a. Oh, hold on, I have to turn it on first. Yeah, there, we there we go. Yeah, like yeah. we have we have all okay. that kinds of fun stuff. We'll have the Ashley squeal now. Yeah, on here, and I'm very excited, excited about it. Trademark. Yes. Um, it's doing really well. I was I was gonna. Is that ask what you've question. been? Is that why you've so been so nervous? No, I feel like you've no, just been like, no, just don't just, say, just no. don't say it. I was just, just like, don't, just say, don't say, it. say anything dumb. Um, it's all it's right. not that bad. <laughs> Sometimes we're recording and he has to ask me which podcast we're doing. Yeah. so we know what we're allowed to say. Exactly. Um, anyway, <laughs> uh, what was the next question? Uh, does Ashley remember her UCLA nickname? Ooh. I was hoping this led to like a good story and an actual nickname. The look on your face says there's not I like asked a, that. Uh, N R E F T one and uh, and ref one. Know. I'm guessing Ash? it was a UCLA fan. Shout out UCLA soccer for retweeting our or for re regramming our ask Go for Brand. questions. Ashy poo. That's what I call. Oh, you. everyone calls me Ashy poo, but I don't really know why. <laughs> Ashy poo. Just want to squeeze your cheek. Yeah. Ooh. I don't know. Ooh. I don't know if that's a thing. I mean, it is now. Yeah. I don't so, know if I like Ashy Poo. Yeah, no, I think we can do a lot better. Yeah. We do need to get you a nickname, though, because you got Hatch here, uh, too. Yeah. Which, is, she's Hatchy, though. Yeah. Like, she's already got one. So, do you just get Ash? I guess. I mean, I don't really have, like, a, a name that's good for nicknames, I feel like. Yeah. Except for Ash. Right. Just, it's easy on the field to just be like Ash. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can go Ash and Hatchy. All right, yeah. we've, we've settled that. Okay. We'll run it by Tori and Andy. Everything we do has to be approved by them. <laughs> uh, Avery, as in your fellow draft classmate, uh -huh. uh, oh, said, if you had to eat a meal from McDonald's for a week straight, what would it be? Ooh, Nugs. that's a terrible I question. I really know what's on the menu. Nugs. That's actually the Nugs? correct answer. Oh, wait, what do you mean? That you don't know what's on the menu, and that's a disgusting question. And okay. we're now going to have to inquire. What well, it's a disgusting words. question, but I could, I could answer that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> well, get a shamrock shake. I'm going to get a, uh, my uh, a shake. shamrock shake. I get like straight? one a year. No, I can't do it a week straight. I would die. Correct. I would die. Have you ever seen Super Size Me? 
No, I can't watch that. Uh, I will. I will die. Yeah, he almost did. He probably. Yeah. He almost did. Yeah. Don't watch it. You, you're going to cry I if you watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. I haven't been trying to look at anything like that. So it'll be fine. Um, what is the first thing you try to locate in a new city? This shopping is from Sarah. Places. Shopping okay. places. Targets. Mm. There's some. There's Target's a lot of good, good shopping but places like, around here. I know that there's like an urban. It's like 20 minutes away, which is kind of unfortunate. Mm. <laughs> Westwood had one, like, right where I live. So that was Okay, nice. so wh- where's your favorite place to shop? Like, where's, what's the store that you like to go to? Lululemon? I feel like Urban Urban is just reliable for me. Like, if I yeah. just, because I hate, really, I don't really like wearing the same thing. Mm-hmm. Which is mm-hmm. not a good habit of mine. Mm-hmm. But if I'm going somewhere, I know that if I go to Urban, I'll find something. So, that's mm-hmm. like, so you're not a typical athlete then, because typical athlete is like, just give me the same pair, like, quarter zip and sweats every yeah. day. You I mean, like, do I don't, I don't come here and like dress up. I'm just yeah. saying, like, if I'm going somewhere. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. How about you, Kai? Isn't a lot of the time. I don't really <laughs> have plans much. <laughs> um, I don't really have like one place. I don't really shop all that often, actually. Like, so what you, you just wear your team issue you... gear? So like, your whole closet is no, just no, UCLA no, no, gear. No, 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 no. no. Okay. I have a lot of clothes. I just don't go shopping a lot. Like, I have, I used to have clothes bought for me a lot, like oh. as gifts. So okay. I kind of let people like. Make your wardrobe. My style. I don't like when people buy clothes for me. See, okay. Yeah, I, I don't, don't like when people. Yeah. I'm I don't with you. like it, and I, I can't. and I'm not good at like hiding things. But right. usually I will. I'll like look at it and be like, Do you, grandma thing? Do you hold on socks. to it because you feel bad giving it away, or what do you do when like somebody well, gets so you? Well, so my shirt? grandma already knows that for Christmas she has to like. This is what we do. She gives me money, and I buy my own presents, and then I wrap them myself, and then I open them in front of everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, it's absurd. <laughs> That's amazing. And then she'll be like excited, and it's my present. So. Oh my god, look what yeah. I got you! <laughs> yeah. It's like reverse presenting. Yeah, but it's it works great. Uh, hey, yeah. if it works, it works. What's the thing you look for when you get to a new city? I know you were saying restaurants when we were talking the other day. Yeah, restaurants. Um, I said Target, just because I I literally go into Target trying to get one thing, and I'll come out with like of course. seven. You just can't get a cart. Don't get a cart. <sighs> Then you're gonna start put, yeah, just walk in, get your one always thing, and walk do. out. I like movie theaters. Like, there's one near us. Because um, there was those big movie premiere theaters in mm-hmm. Westwood, so you could literally just walk, pay 10 bucks, and just see all the new movies. Um, I don't know. I feel like everything's pretty centrally located here, though, so. Yeah. Yeah, you guys got some options. There'll be plenty of shopping and yeah. restaurants around here, for sure. Yeah. Um, what's the roommate situation? Are you guys together, or are you guys with... No. Uh, so you get getting to meet somebody else. Well, yeah, I already knew Natalie Jacobs, so okay. that wasn't like a new thing. Um, but I just met Avery, but we have like a lot of mutual friends. Mm-hmm. So I kind of like knew her, not really, but I knew that our personalities would be fine because like my best friend is like best friends with her, and there's like four in between. So I'm like, she has to be cool. <laughs> That'd be so terrible if she yeah. was a bad link. Like, yeah. oh, there's a reason we haven't met. Yeah, yet. everyone was keeping us apart. <laughs> no, we've heard we've heard good things about Avery. Uh, yeah, who who are you? I'm with the Katies. One Katie isn't here yet. Yeah, but the other Katie and I, we like are decorating our apartment. It's super fun, and our personalities are so similar. So it. What if Katie McClure comes in and is like, "I don't like your decorations." Ooh. We're already texting her, so it's okay. Yeah, we're <laughs> sending your yeah. videos. It's Why fine. am I trying to cause so much division? Yeah, I, know. I feel like, I feel like I'm drama. trying to cause issues today. Yeah. I apologize. <laughs> it's not my role here. Just try to be bringing everybody together. <laughs> um, all right, what? Let's wrap up with these two things. Uh, what's your number one like DC? We kind of touched on this already, but like your DC thing that you're like, all right, this is the first thing I want to do when I get a free day to go explore. Well, she brought up the FBI, this FBI, what was oh, it? Yeah. I went to FBI like the what? FBI like headquarters when I came here a couple. And she went without me. I was there Ooh. with her and she just didn't invite me. Oh, that's uh, it's not my I advice. did not do the divisiveness <laughs> there. I just want that for the record. So here's what's cool. Let us know because we've got some connects over there. Yeah, I've do. actually done a couple of training seminars at FBI really? headquarters where I teach. Of, that, yeah, that's, that's, where, that's, that's where it yeah. is. It's in Quantico. So, we so here's what we go gotta there. do. We gotta blindfold you guys like from here. It's fine. And you guys can't know like, where I, it is. Are you being serious? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm no. Dave. No, know. you don't have to get blindfolded. We can we can bring you there. There's a highway exit see. sign and everything. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they will ask for your ID <laughs> yeah. and it will be pretty intimidating. So if you think Tori is intimidating, wait till there's a tank pointing <laughs> a gun at you. 
saying who are you. Why does it scare me as much? Yeah. Because they can't shoot. <laughs> not as They're much not as Tori. <laughs> Cut that up and send it to yeah. Tori. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll do that one day for yeah. sure. Yeah. We'll All right, I, so we got FBI headquarters, Sequanico. I just, I just think, like, I've seen a lot of the museums. I haven't been to the African American History Ooh, Museum, which is, it's a great one. like, That's all my a really good one. telling me to go. Yeah. And I've heard that you have to, like, spend a day there. Yep. And yeah. just, like, be emotionally ready for it. So I'm really excited. It's probably more than a day. To be honest, yeah. with you, it's more than a day. If you go and if you go during the week, you don't have to get tickets and yeah. things like. If you go during the weekends, you, there's no luck. You won't be able to get in. Yeah, yeah. But go during the week if you get an off day and yeah, prepare for that. Like yeah, yeah. that would be really, really heavy. Good. But it's I also really, really want to go to the. I, I want to go like watch like a session of like Congress. Like I just want to like mm. really. Just, you really like, are all about that pie. Yeah, yeah. Poli sci. I think we can make that happen. We know some people. I mean. We're here. Yeah, this organization is a lot of people. <laughs> if um, that's what you want to do. Yeah. Uh, all right. And then on the field, what are you most looking forward to this season? I think it's always really fun just, like, discovering what different players like and just learning their habits and um, just building, like, on-the-field chemistry with people. And I think it'll be really fun to win a championship. So, I mean, just just getting out there and playing. I don't yeah, I'm just excited to play with like a new team. Yeah. That's pretty much it. And we're like young, which I like for the most part. <laughs> yeah, this is a young team, but yeah. that championship goal is not a not not like some wild aspiration. No, no, not at all. So it's kind of one of those things if that's not your goal around here then uh doors that way. Yeah, <laughs> true. Uh Kaya, Ashley, appreciate you guys coming on the pod. We'll do this again later in the season and uh good luck as you get started. Thank you. Catch the Spirit is a production of Train with the Best Media. The executive producers are me, Craig Hoffman, and Chris Gores. I also mix and edit the podcast. Production assistance from the Spirit is provided by Nicole Hawkins. This podcast is now on video, which means we have even more people to thank. Chad Moore is our director. Bernie Kelsch is our producer. Mason Cavalier is on audio and set design. Jordan Small also assists with set design. If you like this podcast, we think you'll like our flagship Train with the Best podcast. That podcast is available wherever you found this one. If you like what you heard, please subscribe, rate, and review us on your favorite podcast platforms. And be sure to tag us if you share on social media. Chris is at Trainer Gores, and I'm at Craig underscore Hoffman on Instagram. Of course, the spirit is at Wash Spirit, and you can follow Ash at Ashley.Sanchez and Kaya at Kai.June. Our theme music was produced by Jamarion Bates.